Unfortunately, due to a rough week, I missed the Thursday night football game. That doesn't mean there are not still plenty of games to pick this Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to this week 11 Pick'em edition of Believer's Talk. We're going to go through every single Sunday and Monday night matchup for this week 11 slate and give you both our winners straight up and against the spread. Again, thank you for joining me on Believer's Talk. My name is Joe. If you're new to this channel, guys, please be sure to hit that subscribe button for continual Buffalo Bills and Buffalo sports news. No Buffalo sports this week because the Buffalo Bills are on a bye week, right? So week 11, the Buffalo Bills bye week. They go into the bye week sin at seven and three. Really wish we were eight and two. Still getting over that loss last week, but still seven and three, a very good record. We do have the Dolphins creeping up. If they win this week, they tie us in the win and loss column. Of course, the Bills still own that tie break. But guys, as we go through these picks, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you agree or disagree with these picks. Give this video a thumbs up. Really helps out the channel. So we're going to start with Sunday. Again, we missed Thursday Night Football. I'm pretty sure I would have had the Seahawks, but I'm not going to just give it to me since I didn't announce it here. So for the overall record right now, my record straight up is 95 and 51 uh, against the spread 79 and 67. Not a great week last week, hoping to improve here this week. So going through the Sunday slate of games, we're going to start with the one o'clock games. And we're going to start with the Titans at the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens sit at six point favorites. Titans, of course, beating the Ravens last year in the AFC playoffs. That was really one of the big upsets that propelled the Titans to have a big playoff run uh, in the second round of the playoffs there. But in this one, I think the Ravens are going to win this one. It's in Baltimore. I think this offense does have enough. Now, six points to me are a lot of points to give up against this Tennessee Titans team. Not sure if they're going to cover that or not. Uh, but give me the Ravens to win this one straight up. Give me the Titans to cover the spread. Then you go to, to uh, Carolina. Where a beat up Carolina Panthers team, no Christian McCaffrey, more than likely no Teddy Bridgewater, go up against the Detroit Lions team that's still hungry and still feels like they have a chance to make the playoffs. The Lions right now sitting at two point favorites. I like the Lions in this matchup. I like the Lions to win and cover the spread. Then you go to Cleveland where the Browns host the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles coming off a disappointing loss last week to the New York Giants, barely holding on to that division, holding on by a tie right now. So they really need to start winning. However, the Browns know they can smell, they can taste a playoff appearance the first time since 2001. They know that they have to keep winning as well. Give me the Browns to win this game. Give me the Browns to cover a, I'm sorry, give me the Eagles to cover a three-point spread. So I think it's going to be close. Give me the Eagles to cover that spread. Give me the Browns to win the game. Move on to Houston, where the Patriots are two-point favorites against the Houston Texans. I like the Patriots, and the Patriots have a lot of momentum after last week beating the Baltimore Ravens. Give me the Patriots to win this game. Give me the Patriots to cover a two-point spread. Then you go on to Jacksonville, where the Pittsburgh Steelers, again, you know, I hate double-digit spreads. The Steelers are 10.5-point favorites going into Jacksonville. Hate 10-point spreads even more when the, the team away is the one giving the points. Give me the Steelers to win this game, 10.5 points. I'm not not liking it, but I'm going to take it. Give me the Steelers to win this game. Give me the Steelers to cover a 10 and a half point spread. Going on to New Orleans, you got the Saints first, the Falcons, the Falcons coming into New Orleans. New Orleans without uh, Drew Brees, so you know you're going to have Teddy Bridgewater in this week. It's a three and a half point spread. I expect this to be a three point game. I expect this to be a really close game. The Falcons normally play the Saints tough. Give me the Saints to pull this one out at home, but give me the Falcons to cover a three and a half point spread. They move on to Washington, where the Washington football team, uh, for, for once this season, are favorites. They go up against the Cincinnati Bengals. The Washington football team, despite their record, have, have actually given up the least amount of passing yards so far this this year. So you have to like that if you're a Washington football team fan. The Washington football team, however, is unable to get the job done late in game. So give me the Cincinnati Bengals to win this one. Give me the Cincinnati Bengals to beat a two-point spread. They move on to a game that the Buffalo Bills fans will be watching closely. Uh, Four o'clock slate will start with the Denver Broncos playing at home, playing host to the Miami Dolphins, that team that's right behind us in the standing. So as Bills fans, we want the Broncos to win this game. I just don't see it happening. Broncos right now, three and a half points 
point underdogs. Again, I expect a close game. I've always said that Denver plays tougher at home, and that's where they are in this game. Give me the Dolphins to win it, but give me the Broncos to cover a three and a half point spread. Moving on to the Jets at Chargers. Chargers, nine and a half point favorites. I like this matchup a little bit better when you talk about big spreads. The Chargers are at home. The Jets really just haven't done that great. Now, they do have their wide receivers back. You know, they played. Um, New England tough two weeks ago on Monday night. So they can get the job done. So give me the Jets to cover a nine and a half point spread, but give me the Chargers to win the game. Moving on to Indianapolis where the Colts play. The Packers, listen, the Packers have heard all week about how maybe they shouldn't beat the Jags or how can you beat the Jags in that close of a game? How can you let the Jags stay in it? They're not they're not dealing with that anymore. They're not they're not listening to that every single week. They have a point they have a statement to make and they're gonna make it in this game. Give me the Packers to win this game. Give me the Packers to actually win this game big against the Indianapolis Colts. The Indianapolis Colts team where we're just not sure what to expect out of them, right? Sometimes they look really good, sometimes not so well. Uh, we got Phillip Rivers still back there, not looking his best. Give me the Packers to win this game, give me the Packers to beat. A two-point spread. Moving on to Minnesota, where the Vikings are seven and a half-point favorites against the Dallas Cowboys. The uh, Dallas Cowboys is obviously depleted at quarterback still. I think Andy Dalton will be back in this game, so good for the uh, Cowboys. However, if you remember how Cam Newton did in his return after coming off that uh, protocol list, he didn't play so hot to start off. I would expect the same things out of Andy Dalton. So give me the Vikings to win this game. Give the Vikings to cover a seven and a half point spread. Moving on to Sunday night football where you have this Kansas City Chiefs going up against the team that gave them their only loss so far this season at the Las Vegas Raiders. The Vegas Raiders giving them their loss earlier this year in Kansas City. Can they go 2-0 against the Kansas City Chiefs? Right now they're two games back in the West so this is a huge matchup for the Las Vegas Raiders. Right now the Raiders are seven and a half point underdogs. I think that's a slap in the face to the home team. A slap in the face to a team that actually beat Kansas City already this year. Give me the Ravens to cover what seems to be a, a high, a big spread, but give me the Chiefs to pull this one out. They're not going to lose two games to a division rival in the same season as long as Patrick Mahomes is quarterback of this football team. Moving on to Monday night football, you got the St. Louis Rams coming off a big win against Seattle going into Tampa Bay and playing TB12 and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers are three point three and a half point favorites in this game. Give me the Buccaneers to win this one at home, and give me the Buccaneers to cover a three and a half point spread. I think McVay and the Rams have looked really good as of late, and I would expect that to continue after this game. But this Tampa Bay team is just looking really good. I know they lost to the Saints. Uh, I still feel like they want to to have a say in that NFC South division before the end of the year. However, now that they lost both games to the Saints, they're gonna have to probably win out or take advantage of the Saints team without Drew Brees, who might lose a game here or there, if that Drew Brees injury is more serious than we all hope it, it actually is. Um, we hope it's not serious, that's what I'm trying to say. So those are the week 11 matchups on by this week. Of course, our Buffalo Bills, the Chicago Bears are on by this weekend, the New York Giants and the San Francisco 49ers. They could use the rest. Uh, but our Buffalo Bills will be back in action next week against the LA Chargers. So I look forward to giving you more picks and predictions. And make sure you follow right here on Believers Talk, guys, as I continue to give my picks and predictions. Again, thank you guys for joining me on this edition of Believers Talk. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Again, leave a comment in the comment section. And guys, don't forget, this is one of the last days that you can put BB in the comment section. BB, B-E-E-B-E, -E -E, and you could still be entered uh, for that Don BB signed jersey. I'll be accepting entries until midnight Saturday night, so make sure you uh, get your entries in. Again, guys, thank you for joining me on Believer's Talk. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.